everyone thank you so much for joining me here today i'm so grateful in today's video i wanted to talk about how to remove a third party i have already done a video on this a few months back which i will link up here you can have a look in which i go in depth to make you understand what a third party actually is and how do they even come into your existence right what are those deep rooted beliefs that you have which are either related to directly creating a third party or it could be any other underlying beliefs so you can check that video out to understand what are those kind of underlying deep rooted beliefs that would have made this third party show up in your reality now in that video i have spoken about one way which most of the manifestation coaches will let you know about on how to remove a third party okay that's the most common way you'll hear in a lot of videos and because most of the manifestation coaches stick to that one way there are not a lot of videos they keep creating or um making on this topic because generally there's only one advice most of the people give when it comes to a third party so in this i'm going to discuss a second way as well now the first way is what i had discussed in that other video um this way usually requires a lot of courage a lot of confidence for you to follow this option so if it does not resonate you can definitely go with the second one which i will discuss about in a bit so the first option basically is not you know letting them stay in your awareness which means not acknowledging them now as we know in the manifestation process deliberate manifestation when you're consciously trying to create your reality what your focus goes on grows even further right so your focus attention energy what you bring into your awareness not just that what you allow to stay in your awareness right wherever your focus goes and whatever you allow to stay in your awareness will become dominant if that is the state of being and that is that story you keep returning to the story and the state you visit the most becomes dominant in you so if you keep your focus on the third party being there right that there is a third party in the situation uh, there is this third person which is coming in between our relationship now that could be anyone that could be another male or female that is romantically involved with your specific person or it could be someone's parents or it could be someone's boss third party can basically be anything and third party is nothing but just a just another circumstance that's all it's nothing else anything that is between you and your desire anything that seems like a opposition seems like a competition seems like a block all of these things that make you feel in a way that you cannot have your desire everything comes under circumstance so third party also is another circumstance so as i was talking about the focus part whatever you focus on the most will eventually show up in your reality till then till something does not grasp your full complete focus it's always going to be a possibility in this physical reality in this world there are infinite possibilities infinite realities out there infinite options infinite potential so you can pick and choose any possibility any potential and choose to put your focus on that and whatever you choose to put your focus on will eventually show up and stay in your reality for good so third party is no different if you focus on it long enough if you keep going back to that state of acknowledging it and being aware that yes there is a third party and that's real you know for you it's real for you it's true the more it's going to remain in your reality the longer it's going to stay in your reality your focus is like oxygen okay your focus is oxygen which you breathe into the things that end up staying in your reality that's where your focus where your energy mind goes is really important in this journey of conscious creation because if you take away that oxygen okay if you take away your focus from that by default those things will just fade away they will dissolve there's no other option for it but to dissolve away so the first option is to not acknowledge it at all okay there's no third party there's no third party at all i don't even know what you're talking about i don't even want them in my awareness i'm not going to spend my precious energy focus and attention on it because it's irrelevant to me so it might be there it might not be there i don't care for it 
I am not going to give an emotional reaction to it. I am not going to give it oxygen. I am not going to breathe into it. I am not going to make it real and true. The moment you give it your emotional reaction, you are saying to yourself that it's true for me. This third party, this person is real in my reality. It's true for me and this is now my story. So don't make it true for yourself. Don't give it any emotional reaction. Just treat it as anything else that is irrelevant in your reality. The people who are walking on the street, they are irrelevant to you. The cars that are just moving around you, the people walking around you, you don't know them, you don't care for them, they are not going to get an emotional reaction out of you. So that is something you should not be doing in the first option, which is acknowledging and keep going back to that state where you are telling yourself that there is a third party. Now in this state, what should you be doing? You should be persisting in that state where you know that you and your specific person is together. Not that this person should disappear, this person should go away, this person, this person, this person. Completely get into that state where you know that person is not there. Okay, it doesn't matter, they're irrelevant, they're not there. Persist in you and your specific person being together and that should be your focus, that's about it. You are together, you are one team, you are committed to each other. You both can't think to be with anyone else but each other. And that's where your focus should be in this first option. Now the second option is for the people who find the first option to be really difficult, right? See, everyone is a different person. So you cannot just put out one way or one solution, especially as a conscious creation teacher, uh, someone who practices it and wants to teach the best and simple ways possible, right? So not everyone can just be that perfect or that confident where they just come into that state of being that, you know, no, this person is not there. Okay, they're irrelevant, they don't exist. I'm not going to bring them into my awareness. Um, if you can, it's really good for you. That's the kind of confidence you can bring in you, where you can completely ignore this person who is currently in the reality because you know me not acknowledging them would eventually make them go away. If you can do that, it's really good for you. But if you cannot, it's fine too because you are a human being. And especially in romantic relationships when there is a third party that has manifested himself or herself into your reality, and especially if they are around a lot or you see them a lot or you are in the same circle or you hear about them a lot or they are all over social media, you see their pictures and it really is in your face, in your 3D reality, it really is hurting you, it's really bothering you, it's emotionally triggering you a lot. It can be disturbing, it can be really unpleasant, right? It will bring up all these kind of negative emotions in you that make you feel left that make you feel rejected, that make you feel abandoned by your specific person. You feel like you're not good enough, you feel like you're not being chosen and this person, my specific person, wants him or her more than me. And those kind of feelings are the feelings and beliefs in the first place that have created this third party. I discuss about the reasons why the third party would have come up in your reality in a lot of detail in the other video which I had uh, linked up earlier. You can have a look to understand the reasons. But these kind of feelings and beliefs, whether it's based uh, on your past experiences, um, any incidents, things you have seen around yourself of not being chosen, uh, not feeling good enough, feeling like people just leave your life. These things are those deep rooted beliefs which create the third party in the first place, which is also a good news because if you can create it with those beliefs that you have, you can also uncreate the third party by just changing your story, by just replacing those beliefs with favorable beliefs. So you're created with certain beliefs and it's completely fine to take up that responsibility once you recognize what belief that was within you. It's not necessary that the belief was around a person coming in between. Okay, it's not that. That's just one way. If you have a belief in you that you are always left, you are not chosen, you are always a second option, a lot of things can happen for your specific person to make you feel that way. Anything can happen. They can break up with you or cut off with you or ghost you for a lot of reasons. Third party coming in between is just one of those reasons. So now what is the solution for the second option where you just cannot bring yourself to ignore their existence at all? 
the solution is to create a favorable story around them which means yes you are acknowledging them yes they are in your awareness but it's completely fine because your story about them is going to be favorable to the reality you are trying to manifest for yourself now what can that story be it can be a lot of things okay it can be that this third party whoever that person is and my specific person are not compatible anymore these are the kind of stories you need to build within yourself they are just not compatible anymore they are completely bored of each other they are just not at all infatuated by each other they don't have any common interests or you can just be very specific and make a story that you know that person has found someone much more interesting they are attracted to someone else and they are mutually parting ways just keep persisting in that story it's fine if you find it difficult not to acknowledge them you can acknowledge them and just change the story around it just persist in your new story that is the story you have to keep coming back to whenever you feel triggered by them whenever you hear their name whenever you hear about both of them together just keep repeating the story within you do techniques around it no they are parting ways mutually any day now add this this really drops the resistance around your desire coming to your reality any day now okay any day now or yet okay they have not parted ways yet but it's happening very soon they're parting ways any day now okay that person is going to find someone much more interesting any day now they're going to get so fed up of each other any day now so this is how you create a favorable story around something that you do not like in your reality okay if you cannot stop acknowledging them just create a story where they are fading away where they are moving on where they are dissolving away and put affirmations and techniques around the first option which i was telling you as well where you are persisting that you and your specific person is together so about them moving on and going away happily and you and your specific person being together if affirming about this third party dissolving away for you by default implies that you are together with your specific person then you don't really have to put in separate affirmations for this but that you would be knowing better because you know within you when you're saying something what does it imply for you okay uh, if it implies that you can put this you cannot put this it's completely your choice but if uh, you trying to dissolve away the third party for you it's just implying that this third party should go away from my reality and it's not really implying that you and your specific person are back together then you have to specifically also create some techniques and affirmations around this and it doesn't really have to be difficult it can be done together um they have moved on they have found someone so much better they are so fed up of each other me and i my specific person are back together we are so happy we are stronger than ever so it can be done in a combination now the second option is better for people to make things more realistic for you and kind of also dissolve away that resistance that comes with just you know hearing that you know okay fine just don't acknowledge it some people can do it really well okay as i mentioned there are different types of people it does not mean you should compare yourself with someone else that they are able to do it i am not able to do it they are just easily able to ignore um a third party why can't i do it it's completely fine you are not them stop comparing your manifestation journey your discipline with someone else so if you cannot do the first option do the second option take the path of least resistance in a way where you can persist in your in state and it's benefiting you emotionally as well okay so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video in case you have any questions around this you can drop it in the comment section below i also have my instagram and threads account linked below for a regular dose of motivation also my second youtube channel that you can check out it includes videos around self development and mindset not really from a manifestation perspective but in general so if it's something you find interesting you can subscribe i'll see you in the next video till then have a great week